This is my part two video for the high voltage DC power supply unit. And this is my power pulse modulator circuit that I demonstrated in one of my other videos. Um, I actually placed it in a case and box, you know, to protect the circuits from, you know, any static or anything. I actually put a switch and plugs right into the power right there. Has a little fuse built into it, a little switch. And I'd like to show you how this works now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this on. And I just have it hooked up to my 12 volt battery there. And you can see my lights on right here. And I'm going to turn the circuit up. You'll be able to hear it click. And the little circuit in here, the 12 volt relay, is clicking on and off to pulse the high voltage power which is around 380, 380 volts, I believe, 360, 380 volts, DC. And you can see what's inside in my other previous video, all the capacitors and diodes I have in there, to power my actual transformer primary coil here. It just plugs right in. And I'm getting incredible uh, spikes, EMF spikes, off of this capacitors uh, of high voltage pulsing for the Beck protocol. So what I'm going to do is now, it's pulsing right now, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and turn this off right here. I'm going to plug the power up to it so we can generate that high voltage. And now, you're going to hear this thing, how powerful this magnet field is coming off of this on this metal desk. So let me go ahead and turn it on. Already you can start to see it move by itself. It's putting out incredible joules of energy coming off of this thing. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's pretty, pretty good. Pretty powerful there. And I want you to see what it does to this magnet. But when I get close to this magnet, it just jumps around and goes crazy. So this thing's putting out awesome joules of power here. And I can also speed this up with my little circuit board here. Turn up the power a little bit and watch this thing go at it. You just want to keep it at its low pulsing for, you know, the cancer treatment and all that other stuff that I told you about in my first video. But that's it. That's the whole circuit. It's already done. The capacitors get a little warm, you know, within five minutes of pulsing it. So does the coil because it's such high energy going through this thing. This is only made for 120 volts, you know, for a microwave transformer. But I'm, like I said, putting 360 to 380 volts DC of probably around four to six amps of power pulsing this thing. That's why I'm getting such an incredible magnetic field generator. But let me know what you think about the circuit and everything here. Thanks for watching.